What's up guys, this is Tyler from Mayhem Ranch. And today we are gonna be changing the brake pads on this 2017 Honda Foreman. <clears throat> so here are the tools that you're gonna need. You need a five millimeter Allen head, a flathead screwdriver, a pick in case there's mud around things, a 12 millimeter uh, wrench or ratchet, and something like a C-clamp or one of these things to uh, push the caliper in so you could fit the, the uh, brake pads in. And a 17 millimeter socket to take the lugs off. As you can see, all the caked on mud from about four or five years of abuse. So here is the caliper right here. And this pick is gonna come into play pretty hell handy. All right, here are the 12 bolts right here, 12 millimeter bolts. So you're gonna take those two off after you clean it. And this is after a wash, believe it or not. Want to give these a loosen. Loosen these up. All right. So once you have it loose, you're going to see these two little caps on the end and those are the uh, set pins for the actual brake pads around here so a little plastic so I wouldn't torque it down or torque it too much without some lubricant but the other side was pretty easy to remove Here's where the five millimeter Allen head goes into play. So I find the easiest, get the socket in there. Just crack these while it's still on the rotor itself where these bolts are, because it's a pain in the ass if you uh, crack it while the caliper's loose. Both of those are cracked. So you take that out and you can remove these bolts, these 12 millimeter bolts from earlier. Right here, right here. Gonna move these plastic things out of the way and pull up. And look at all that mud. All right. That's where the five millimeter comes back into play. We're gonna back these out.
All right. So here's where that pick comes into play. You have these two holes right here that are just covered in mud. Like I said, I just washed this bike, but all that caked in mud to push those pins back out. Right now that we have the brake pads out, there's a caliper right here, and that's where that little clamp comes in. Now, like I said, you could use a tool for it or a C clamp. You just want to get that in there just a little bit. Don't push it in too much because you don't want to break the little boot around it. So clamp it down just enough so both brake pads can fit in there. Again, with the pick, you can use it to get all the dirt and mud out. All right, now that we have that in, we're gonna drop in our new pads. started with the little brake pin. Both of them are started. I'm gonna take the other one, kind of jimmy it in there and push so it kind of locks. Once you get one side started, the other side should click right in. And it'll hold them into place while you tighten them.
and just install it the same way you took it off. Easiest way is just to finger tighten it and then torque it down once you get it tight. Both of them are tightened. Sure, it rotates. And then reinstall these little screw heads. Like I said earlier, don't over tighten these because these are plastic and would probably be a pain in the butt to get back out. Okay, once you get everything back bolted up the way it is, just remember to squeeze the front brakes because you did decompress that caliper and it's gonna be feel squishy. So make sure you pump it until it's tight before you go ride. And that is how you change the front disc brakes or pads on a 2017 and probably multiple years of the Honda Formans because I know they had drum brakes early on but the newer ones have discs so, so check you guys later